Hi, hello again. Now, last time I said I will teach you about the color wheel over here. So let's do that, okay? So when you pick a can, uh, pick a color from your color wheel, to do your adjustments, you can just simply rotate your cursor to find any color you like. So this one is pretty easy, okay? If you want a more darker tone, you can just always adjust it right here. Now some of the values, you can also manually adjust them yourself from here. If per se that you find something over here that's not the color you like. For example, I want to find something like this, which is unavailable in the color wheel. So I can just manually do it until I can find one. Okay. Now you got RGB, the red, green and blue. Now if you don't uh, don't want this, you can always click the RGB words right here and you can select CMY, HSV or uh, HLS. So see, you got the, your CN, your magenta, your yellow or you can get something like these. Okay? And that's how it does. Right. But for me, I prefer RGB. A lot easier. Okay? Now, you're probably wondering what's this little folder right here. This one allows you to choose uh, images, parts, box, or textures where the previous palettes right here, they do not have. So let me do this, uh, let me explain this a little quick. Now, I, you, if you're using version 4.7M, you probably notice there are some glitches or bugs uh, when they first launch it. So if you say you are choosing an image that's not from your uh, C program, you probably be able to get stuck by something like uh, something like says pixel stops functioning or anything okay so to prevent that make sure when you choose uh, image always look up from your program files okay now image means allows you to choose whatever ready images that you already have okay if you are using parts box you want to select a parts box you can find them uh, these are the default parts box that looks like this. You'll probably be able to find that under your uh, Pixel program right here. And you can find in your parts box right here. You can select either of these. And when you do so, you'll prompt you the same question. Use this image as tip of the pen. As in your previous uh, tutorial, you should know how to use this. So if you click yes, you get results like this. If per se you click no, then this is your result. So again, it depends on which one you want to use. If you are choosing texture, you'll be getting the same results. So let's see if I select this texture over here some of the textures they will ask you the same questions some of the textures they won't ask you so let's pick one of these see it asks you the same question again so it depends on whether you select a yes or if you select a no the end result will be different. Right. So basically that's uh, what's around the color wheel right here. Next tutorial I'm going to let you understand about the brush strokes okay, and the brush pen. Right, so see you.